Taylor Guitars is back. Last time we did the Shark One, our guitar model. <laughs> so the guitar market we have covered. So now I think we need to move on to the next market, which is drums. Easy. Because this one doesn't really have strings. Right. Or tuning or electronics. We don't have to make a neck. Yeah, so how That's hard so, much easier. so how hard would making a drum set be? We have until 8 p.m. today and then whatever drum set we have, I'm bringing it to a studio and we're gonna mic it up and see how we can get it to sound. Uh, how many pieces is this drum set? Yeah, okay, so I guess I should <laughs> show you. I, I'm borrowing cymbals. I just have some of the hardware and it was already like 800 bucks. <laughs> oh my God. Like, so this is gonna be a very expensive drum kit. There's a few ways we can go about actually making the drums. They're really just cylinders uh -huh. with drum heads on it. And then you need some way to tighten the drum heads, op <laughs> optimally tune them. I mean, okay. traditionally, they yeah. were also animal skits. I have drum heads. Oh, okay. Yeah. I feel better about this already. <laughs> yeah. <they're>, yeah. <laughs> so here's like the drum. Right? We're already the drum head. I'm thinking for the bass drum, we get just like a big trash can, open it up. We can make a circle. We can? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Really? I thought that I we wouldn't would. be able to. No, we you could make a circle to go around this? Yeah. We should maybe get a trash can just in case though. And I have lugs. This is on the barrel part? Yeah. With the trash can, when we tighten it, it's gonna bend. Yeah. Are we making a snare? Yes. Okay, so how many and pieces so the wire... are we making though? We still haven't told me. Okay, so uh, <laughs> the pedal okay. to the bass drum. You're making the pedal? We... Yeah, I have the pedal for okay. us to look at and then model it after. Uh... So maybe we should start writing this down because we should go in and get some stuff. Most up. important. Yeah. Bass drum, yeah. snare drum, hi -hat. one sim. How That's the, the f core. are you gonna make a hi hat? That's what I'm asking. Yeah. Okay. I don't really know. How you feeling, Simon? This is ambitious. <laughs> There's a lot to do. There's a lot. Look we at our list. Garbage can, plywood, springs, hinges, rods for stands, rope, wire, wire, and buckets. Just a lot of buckets. Yeah, a lot of buckets. Uh huh. And we know our sizes. <laughs> 385 78. Where's Rob? Let's get another bucket. <laughs> Apparently, you can't buy these separate. Oh, you have to buy the cans for them as well. Yeah. So he bought another can because he wants the ride symbol. Well, I guess we have three options here for the bass drum. Hey, Rob. Hey, how, how are you? Are you doing? I'm excited to see this. Uh play out. Yeah, we kind of figure like they're just cylinders with drum heads on them. Yeah. On the plus side guys today, no soldering. Yeah. Oh God. No electronics. There's no like really needing to be in tune. We just got the head stuff with different sounds, right? Uh-huh. Oh, good cat. I got nice. It. Drums are simple. Like this is uh, pretty much as far back as instruments go other than your voice. So I imagine this is going to be easy. Let's get an update, Simon, on the Shark 1. Yep. Sanded it down, giving it a new finish. I didn't de-sharpen these or anything. They're still <laughs> just as sharp. <laughs> Made sure that, you know, the headstock would stay on. And then I screwed in the back, make sure that the neck doesn't come off. Sure. Added a back plate so you don't get electrocuted. Oh, very nice. All right. I screwed in this part so it's not all dangly. So for this one, we'll actually be able to hear this, like, fully up to tune, E to E. Where do we start? If the only thing we do is bass drum, snare, hi-hat, then we're good. And I really would love one drum to just be a box. Whoa, sorry. There we go, a good splash. And we don't even need this, this whole system. Piece right. of wood, piece of wood and a hinge, this on top, attached to that, springs at the bottom. Max, max, max. Yeah. I like it, I like that, that's good. So this is how the drums work. Here's the drum hoop. Here's the drum head. Put this on the drum, put that there and then tighten all these down, and then that tightens this on the top. I'm just gonna throw this away. Oh! Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> Here's drums. So easy. Bucket. We can make a loop. Yeah, we can make one. Oh! oh. Yeah, okay. okay. Done. All right, there it is. That's incredible. Dude, okay. <laughs> How many drum sets yeah. are we making? I think that we can absolutely put these on the bottom of that. <laughs> drums. Drums are so easy. Bass drum. And I only have one drum head for the... Well, it's because we're going 80s style, right? Exactly. Wow! Drum set. Wow! Okay. Like... <laughs> Here, hold on, hold on a second. 
There you go. Cut off the end, right? Yeah, yeah. We want to we'll make a wooden ring. I throw a blanket in it. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> yep. Okay, I get it. Now. Project jump shark. I get it. Fourteen inch snare. Yep. Base drum. Twenty two inches. Okay. Twelve tom. Twelve inch tom. And then a sixteen floor tom. And then we need a hi hat. Ride. Cinema. Ride. China. China triangle. Okay. Yeah. China triangle. Cool. We need a crash. That's the drum set. Okay, so. Because I would like one of these drums to be a, Sorry, like just Jenna. a box like this. That, that could even be. That'll literally take 20 minutes. I mean, we could have a ton of, of drums. We could. There's no limit. It's make, not like a guitar. Let's make an entire set of. We're getting a little album in the day around here. Let's just. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll, let's we'll start, start with, with the, the essentials. What time is it? It's 11. So we have nine hours. Should we go till nine? Last time it was an energy problem. It was. Yeah. But I think we'll be okay this time. Okay, so at least I'm up for it. Eleven yeah, to I'm nine, that's ten hours. Okay. Starting now. <laughs> Where are the biscuits? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, snare. snare. You've got a good size, that's a twelve inch box. It would need to be smaller because it would need to fit in here. Probably looking at like a ten inch box. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Boom, ten inch box. Nice. Alright, it's just about right. Put exactly the same thing on the other side, but wires on it somewhere. All done. Mm -hmm. If we do a real deal circle snare, it has a much better chance of really sounding like a snare. And it sure does. Yeah. So the, the floor time will be the box. That's new technology. We don't, we don't really know what, what the right. box is going to sound like. So maybe we don't do it on the snare. The floor tom, we use the 16s because I have two of them. We have a resonator head at the bottom, one at oh. the top. Big box. And yeah, then yeah. clamp them together, stand floor tom for the two toms at the top and we can spikes. just have them like this yeah and put like spikes on them and then we do for the snare like this tall actual circle wood yeah. real deal circle snare two toms these are spike, bucket spike buckets spike bucket sure. then hi-hat we'll figure that stuff out later good i will try and make a circle i want you to start cutting those toms okay this will kind of be like bart simpson's head boom we are the drum kings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It looks so funny. It looks so sad. <laughs> I didn't realize that it was so easy to make this a circle. Bam. Yeah, that's awesome. I don't actually know what thickness. I've seen snares that are this thick before. I can Is that always good? Is chop that bad? This down. Yeah, yeah, we'll start here. I mean, this is great. <laughs> What's it going to stand on? I don't know. I'm debating with myself now to have them different spike levels. Pretty this not good. so much fun. <laughs> Almost there. That looks so good. There you go. <laughs> that's that awesome. Like a drum. Yeah, <laughs> that's a drum. <laughs> That's actually, that's, that's a drum. That's like a real, that looks like a drum to me. It's not hard. Making not at all. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Hey, you, it hit you. It, it did a little. Part of the job. Piece of wood isn't long enough. Oh no. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, it's too small. Okay. Try number two. Here's the two toms, more or less. If we had just something that can grasp onto this and pull it down, that's all we need. I yeah, work on the bass drum. Drill the bottom out, yep. get it all ready, and then we'll literally put a strip of wood to even it out so it sits flat. Simon, we go on spikes? How are you doing on the snare? I was just about to fit it. Oh yeah, I got plenty. Nice. We'll tape it and glue it. Sweet. Oh, the snare. Yeah. We started with this. Mm -hmm. Now we have that. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. Yeah, like Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Wow, that is a drum. <laughs> well done. <laughs> well done, sir. <sighs> How tall do we want this? Well, it's maybe a a bit on the big side. It being bigger too will give us a bit more room for the lugs. Oh so yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a consideration. True. Yeah. Are we doing a top and a bottom? Yes. Okay. Start that. In a store, you'd be like, yeah, it's yeah. a drum. 
Yeah, totally. That's what we do here is make instruments. This guy goes through here, and then this attaches to the drum. Then you can fine tune all the positions. Let's get this thing glued up. Going to glue town. And I need to fit inside the drum when, right. I, when I get glue all over it. That's why I'm covering it with tape. So really that it quick. actually dries in the shape of the drum. That's the goal. And look at, look look at this drum. <laughs> drum. <laughs> also, I can't tune a drum normally. That's fine. So I've never tuned it, so let's tune it. Sweet. They didn't have the 22 inch hoops for the bass drum, so we need to make our own hoop to go around this. Okay. So we're going to cut the circles with this. Whoa. Like, that's just a really dangerous compass. Put the router in there and you're just gonna spin it. Wow. It'll make a perfect circle. I'm so amazed by circles today. We'll start light for your first one. I can't hear you. Perfect. Remember last time we did this, it was like 68 degrees? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of cold. Yeah, it was so nice. <laughs> Go. Circle. Check our size, see where we're at. <laughs> so we gotta do that totally all over wrong. again. Totally wrong. Awesome. Wait, oh no, so this is the circle you were doing. You were measuring yeah, on the Yeah, you're right. Yeah, 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 no, okay. so it's not wrong. It's Check just it. now we've made it. Impossible to cut. Yeah. You could just okay. make, you could make it a square. It'll stand on its own. You won't even need a stand if it's square. Yeah. Why hasn't, why haven't other companies done this? All those drummers out there spending thousands of dollars on their kits when they could Spend, spend thousands, thousands dollars. of dollars on the individual parts and yeah. put it together. Idiots. Basically, a big problem here is just this is super flimsy. Well, it's all ribbed and stuff. Kind of screwed it up by having the spikes. So, so we need to make a, a frame. Yes. Right. Yep, sure does. <laughs> <laughs> you play a 22? No, I play a 32 gallon kick drum. The volume's insane. <laughs> <laughs> you get so much volume out of this. <laughs> I love that they're square. Goes in between. Oh, I see. Like that. Nice. Obviously, it needs to be secure. <laughs> it does look like some huge explosion went off yeah. in it. It blew the bottom out. <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic. So, cross brace. Cross brace. How do we do that? The spikes are stabbing me a bit. That's what you get. Yep. Nice. That side one. That's right. Dude, that's not going anywhere. Yeah, that's awesome. Now we just need to figure out a way to tighten these. Yeah, I don't know how we're going to tune it. Mm -hmm. Look, you're going to have to wash your drum out. There might have been a little bit of glue that got out of it. Ah! Oh, no. Yeah. I don't have another drum head. I'm going to wash that. It's water oh, okay. soluble, so I'm just okay, going to wash good. it out. Wait, 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 wait. It's not tight enough, not nearly. Yeah. Try to pull these through. <laughs> How does it sound? It just doesn't hold that shape. Yeah. Maybe we clamp this? What are we doing? I have so <laughs> many clamps. I wish we could stand it up, but because of the spikes. Yeah, and we'll just keep clamping it. Need the garbage cans, but warped. Just keep tightening them. It's under a lot of tension on the bottom. I think I overdid it. I'm like bending the wood. Yeah, that piece of wood is bending. Listen to that. Sounds very <laughs> Getting this like truly tight without lugs is kind of gonna it's, be It's fun. just not gonna yeah, happen. It's just not gonna work. We just have four clamps on the side and that's it. I think that's a great idea. You'll have four less clamps for a little while. How big do you want this floor top? Floor tom? Uh, about this tall. A little bit less than that. Okay. With legs on? Yes. Okay. Honestly, doing nothing to just the garbage can sounds so much better. <laughs> like, this is actually a pretty good bass drum. I didn't do anything but just put a kick pedal in front of it. Now listen to our over-engineered <laughs> bass drum. Oh, <laughs> Our bass drum. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's this should, great. This should be part of the kick, but this is like a separate accent. And there's even garbage in it, and it sounds better. <laughs> Way easier than that thing we did. Oh 
Well, we're back to square one. I think it's a cop out to use a pre-made drum throat, so there we go. That already sounds better than what we're working with so far. Yeah. The squarest Tom you've ever seen. Sweet. Oh, those are legs too? Yep. Awesome. That doesn't sound too bad. Now hold it down a lot more. Now let go. Yeah. Okay, you do so get a little bit more. Yeah, we need a little bit of tension. There you go. All right. Well, this is dry enough. We can at least do stuff with it. Shall we get four lugs in here? If we do every single one, then we're looking at 16 to install. 16. Yeah, because for both. That's a lot. Yeah, I guess we should try. <laughs> Bass drum. Oh yeah, you already crossed it off. Bam, no big deal. Floor tom, bam, no big deal. Snare, big deal. Making a stand for the snare is gonna be really hard. Obviously you don't wanna have pressure on the drum. So the stands are like that. They hold it. Yeah, yeah they have to hold it inside. Okay. So right. this goes on right. here with the drum. This goes there, it tightens into that, and then this is how you can tune it. So we want it pretty high up because we're going to stack them. Uh, well, you can just do that. Of course you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> How do we go about it? Do we measure them all four out and then... Five and a half hours. Five and a half hours left? Yep. Okay. Wow. I guess it's just like the last build. I'm like, wow, we have a lot yeah. to do. Yeah, sure do. Uh, the main thing that we need right now, snare, kick pedal, hi-hat. I think we're really putting all our eggs into the snare basket. We sure are. We already got a kick pedal. And the hi hats aren't something that a you know drum company makes on their own, or even just ride. Anyway, we're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> the snare is very flexible. <laughs> it sure is. I think it's kind of crooked. This is a disaster. I feel it's. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. This drum set was ambitious. I mean, that's on there. That's straight, right? It's straight to me. Okay. But uh, I've been <laughs> wrong before. And it looks straighter on that side. Nice. Okay. You get one in or the other, not both. What? You're going to need to drill this one lower just a tad. <laughs> there we go. Two down. All right, we're making progress. Double bass in. Well, it just sounded so good, I figured <laughs> you must have been drumming your whole life. That's super crooked. Yeah. If we can get this in, then it doesn't matter. Dang, dude. That's a drum that tightened up. Uh -huh. <laughs> I like how you can see the inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. that is cool. Why don't we just do all of them? Now actually building something again, I'm, I have this feeling like, oh, we're running into a lot more problems than last time. Last time was so smooth. And, but my memory of it is the video. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah. You know, we got here and then 39 minutes later, it was just done. <laughs> <laughs> Those are hard, hard ciders. 5%. Oh, on this? Yeah. Oh my God. That's why they taste like that. Okay, I did not realize there was alcohol in it. That's a good excuse for all my shoddy uh, craftsmanship here. It doesn't look like there's alcohol in it, except for, <laughs> yeah, I just picked it up out of the fridge. Yeah. Wow, okay. That's deceiving. All right, well, I'm gonna need like some coffee or something. Soon. We have the full, every single lug, and it's really sounding like a snare drum. It really is. Sweet. I can't believe these are $20 each. They're at a like, I broke one of my lugs on my drum kit. Can I get one replacement? And they didn't give you a deal on them? You're getting like 400 of them. No. You make a chess set? I made yeah. Rob a chess set. Yeah, I want a chess awesome. set. You want a chess set? My wife and I like to play chess, but we have the tiniest little board. Okay, hold on. I'm glad you brought that up because I already paid him to make you a chess set. No. <laughs> yeah, I did. No, you didn't. Because uh -huh, he made me one. And I was like, you need to make one for Jake. Oh, my too. God. And it's already paid for, so. You didn't have to do that, man. Deal with it. I made you a chess set. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. 
It is a little better than the one you made me. <laughs> Thank it's, you. Sorry, it's, it's pretty nice. But I definitely got Thank it Thank you so it's much. much. You're it's the perks of working with Scataler Guitar <laughs> Yeah, you got a Scataler Custom. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. This looks like a drum. So I you're do. just cutting the screws smaller? Mm -hmm. File the edge down so it's not sharp. I think we're gonna bring this out for the fr the shark. You know what? Would have made a lot of sense. <laughs> you had this here the whole time. It wouldn't have taken a long time to just go over every fret. I cut myself three times. Yeah, I cut myself twice yeah. finishing it. <laughs> yeah. That oh yeah. Wrong. There's the side eyes. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Damn, look at this. Friggin look at this. Drum. Look That's at how many lugs are on this thing. That's a drum. Oh Usually, like, you can turn on and off the snare. Like, there's a little lever. You don't have the lever? No. I could have bought one. Wow. But I didn't. Wow. Number one, remove old snare wires. Done. Done. Invent <laughs> snare drum. <laughs> Whoa. Told you I could make a circle. Yeah. Whoa, look at all the dust. Yeah, we got to get the dust out for sure. So that's fine. Nice. Got it. You could just drill that in, screw it down, and then you tighten it on the other side. You can't just put a screw through that. No? no? It'll rip. Oh. Guaranteed. Ultimately, I'm gonna leave this one up to you. Well, this, is, this goes on first. This is why I have you guys. Mm-mm. <laughs> Doesn't sound amazing, but it does sound like a snare. Uh, oftentimes you'll mute it too. Like, do you have a wallet? Hell yeah, that's a snare. <laughs> okay, how do we make this stand? Okay, so I'm thinking- or Do we want to take a quick like 15 minute break? <laughs> that sounds like a drum kit. <laughs> Okay, this needs a stand. Yeah, so stand. how high does this need to be? Ideally, it would be adjustable, but um, you <laughs> kind of want it like here. Snare drum. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I mean, whoa, 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 whoa. Here's the stand. Here's the stand. Here's the stand. We don't need to put a new one. We just need to secure it. We already made a stand. We need a stand that sounds like this. The snare is actually pretty good. Yeah. You made that? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Right? That is cool. Bent the wood and everything. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's just a little bit. I guess that's that's something. It totally works. Because it's tilted. Yeah. It's way higher than I would want it to be, but I love how it's all just like self-contained. Uh-huh. Chain. Put them on the trash ride. That's a thing that drummers do. You get a sizzle. How do we make stands? Can I drill into metal? Yes. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that's looking pretty good. Yeah, that's fine. There's your bell. I am making the stand for the ride. <laughs> That. Made it off center because that's who I am, but you know, part of the design. <laughs> Without proper hardware, it's going to be hard for this to like really resonate. So I figure the best thing to do is just hang it from a string. Yep. And it's, and it's fun. Yeah. Um, okay, that's good then. We just need to hang this from something. I was thinking maybe like the hi hat is attached right here. Yeah. That could also be like coming off of here. <laughs> like, you know, just, <laughs> it's just a stick that's going to this. I love that the bass drum is becoming like this. The stand. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be hard. It's got to be higher. Yeah, it's got to be way. Well, <laughs> you go through a little bit? Yeah, yeah. so there's going to be a lot of sharp edges on this one too. Good. There we go. <laughs> yeah! I love it. It's
It should be like right here though. And then I need a kick over here. How will the hi-hat attach? That's a good question. We could maybe use the brass thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And just drill that into here, place that in, maybe with some glue, and then you just put the hi-hat on top. Yeah, just maybe closed, that's it. Yeah. and that's that. And it's just always closed. Not necessarily. It can be closed, and you can pull off the top one and just stick part of an apple in there, yeah. and then it's half open. <laughs> part of an apple. <laughs> So we need a pedal, trash, ride. But I think the next thing is getting the hi-hat on. Yeah. There it is. Just like that. Let me put the hi-hats on there. Hey, you've got an eye gouger right now. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Cool. That's all right. And if it was closed. How would we do that? We could even just put something heavy. That would work to close it more. Like an apple. Um, yeah. Again, I'm not sure you cut this off. Yeah, yeah maybe we don't cut it off. I think that yeah, you're right. Why would we cut that off? Why would we do that? There you go. I've got the knot. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. That is so gnarly looking, dude. Pedal! Pedal! So that'll hinge like that. Probably. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the one we want. <laughs> Trying to figure out how to keep this in there. <laughs> how about uh, it? Yeah, that that's a great design. I think I need to add some guides. Yeah, maybe. So that's not like. Uh, how do you want this? Just the same as this. Yeah. yeah, like where does this go? Here? We don't even bother trying to put tension on it. This is never gonna sound like anything other than Yep. And how would we hold it up? Cool, that's staying on there. Yeah, I'm gonna duct tape the other side. We could get another china, which would just be the same exact thing you just did. Just another stand. Perfect. Perfect? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Imagine getting on stage and getting behind this thing. All we need is the kick pedal. So? Yeah, that's probably the build once we I'm, have the kick pedal on there. I'm, I'm still a little surprised that we did it. Yeah, dude. Simon, keep continuing the pointy, uh... Oh my god, those are <laughs> literal weapons! <laughs> this is a thing that drummers do. That actually could be useful. Oh, and you hung up the saw blade! Yeah. I'm just waiting for the glue to dry here. As soon as we have the kick pedal, I think that's... I mean, I think that's it. Because it's getting, like, so late in the day, like, I'm kind of feeling just, like, duct taping this. Wait, we need another seltzer, though. Yeah, maybe I need another seltzer. Wow! That's surprising. It feels like a like a rock band controller. <laughs> you know, it has that type of action to it. I mean, you already hit the drums with a drumstick. You put a drumstick on it. Yeah. <laughs> this is literally. <laughs> Try it. Try it. <laughs> <laughs> we put another piece of wood here and then drill into that. Sure. So we'll just glue this down, clamp it, wait for the to dry. You're good. Give it like 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Just really proud of our snare drum. It's beautiful, dude. Look at that thing. Actual wood. Yeah, this really is just a real deal snare drum. I think once we got the kick pedal on there, that's it. All right. Nine minutes remain. Rob, you want to try, try something on this? 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, I did. Perfect. It went into my hand. Yeah, why did I do that? Awesome job, guys. <laughs> hear that bass drum. <laughs> All right. And there's been a drill bit in the cymbal the whole time. Yeah, nobody <laughs> knows that. <laughs> <laughs> now we got to get it in the studio. Yeah. All right. So, okay, you actually, we'll get to that later. But here. <laughs> what? What are What's these? This? Those are the symbol stands. <laughs> <laughs> yes. One All of right. the symbols fell off on the way over. Wait, what? But it fell in the trash can. So. Oh, okay. So we're good. This one's gonna be hard to get because it's also just like it's square and it's just put together with clamps. <laughs> it looks like it should breathe fire. Yeah. Holy crap! Wait, yeah. come on. Yeah. You made that? You built this? Yeah. Yes. Mostly made... Simon, but yes. But, dude. Oh, look, you did bend the wood. Oh, oh man, yeah. dude. This is awesome. If you're done with this, you can use these from, you know, vampires. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 the pull for it is so high. But the, the kick drum, honestly, like, that's you like, know, like a European I Swedish said, metal that, kind of kick drum. That's a good Paul kick right there. Yeah! Yeah! Okay, so Rooch, is this a fairly standard drum mic job that you got going on here? Well, I didn't plan on two kick drums, but... Neither did they. <laughs> There's a lot more space for miking in this type of setup, oh, yeah. actually. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. real this drum sets, actually... is you have to get in between stands and stuff. There's, there's actually a lot more space. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That was intentional. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hold on a second. Yeah, oh, sorry, Rob. That's all right. It's not nearly as loud as a real kit. What do you mean real? What do you, when you say real? <laughs> yeah, hold on. What, is, what, what do you mean? mean? <laughs> I mean, it's not as loud as a conventional drum kit. You Thank go. you. This My is God. unconventional. Give me the kick drum, please. The garbage can one. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a kick. I like it. Give me the uh, pointy one. Oh my God. Back and forth. <laughs> 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 Great. Uh -oh. the, 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 the spring came off. It's all good. We sampled every part of the kit, and so I'm gonna reach out to Andrew and see if he wants to use it or put it in his flip sampler so people could use the kit. It's quality stuff. All right, I just need to come up with a minute or so performance.
Final review. We'll start with the snare, because this I'm super proud of. Me and Simon, mostly Simon, did an incredible job on the snare. Like if I came into the studio, saw this snare, didn't look too closely at it and just played it, that's just a snare drum. It's like a little bit deeper. The wood kind of hugs the snare head at the top, but mostly when I see a snare drum, it has a ring on top of it or some type of dampener. So the sound you get is not uncommon at all. You can't not dampen it. The wires at the bottom, you can't adjust. So there's no way around that. But yeah, this is a really solid snare drum. For the rest of the kit, uh, it's it's just garbage <laughs> especially with these drumsticks a few times when playing the back of this would then kind of go into my arm it is extremely uncomfortable to play anytime i play this kick drum the spring is probably going to come off things are just in a strange position this chair is horrible stuff is always falling apart and moving it's just extremely uncomfortable but it does work kind of the kick which is again, just a garbage can, kind of sounds like a metal clicky kick drum sound. Then the cymbals, given that they are just cymbals, sound about right, except with some weirdness, they kind of jangle around. They don't ring out as much as they can because of how we have them secured. Can't close or unclose the hi-hat. And they're always just in this weird on top of each other thing. I do like the rattle of this, but it just always moves. I'm actually pretty surprised with the square tom. Like, it doesn't sound that bad. This is dangerous, but really kick, snare, ride, cymbals, like, sounds pretty usable. All right, I am full in with Skataylor guitars. I'm giving away my instruments next week and just gonna be playing this new line. So me and Jessica are going into the studio with the drums and guitar to make some music and start a band the week after. You can consider your subscription an investment in Skataylor guitars. It's a sound investment. I'm sure they should be in every major retailer soon, once they call me back, which can be any day now. Um, and thanks so much for being along for the ride. Thanks so much for watching. We really appreciate you. See you next week. And I mean it this time. <laughs>